I could probably understudy if only I could sing. Um, I never thought I'd be standing here. This is the closest I'll ever get to performing on this stage. Matilda? Mm -hmm. Matilda, time to wake up. You have to go to the beauty parlour, Tilde, because these claws... Oops. But these need doing, Tilde. Matilda? Matilda, you've been padding around all night long. Now it's eight o'clock in the morning. It's time for you to get up. Tilde. Look at these paws. Matilda. Time to wake up. We're going out. Going to the beauty parlour to get your claws cut. <laughs> oh dear. She's going crazy. Matilda is going crazy because we get, we've just been to the uh, groomer. She's had her nails done. Um, we went this morning and it's better when they're done. She's going crazy because she can smell. I've just got, oh, I'm going to have to open the windows. Oh. Of the police drones. You see, I have her raw food in the back of the car when I go to my mum's and I left some tripe in the boot in the sunshine. This car absolutely stinks. It's driving her mad. Where's the smell coming from? Where is the smell coming from? Um, so the reason we're in the car is we're going over to Kensal Rise because a very good friend of mine has tested positive for COVID um, and she has no food. So I am going over with supplies to leave on her doorstep. I'm buzzing the buzzer. I'm leaving them there, getting back in my car and driving off. So I've got salad and tuna steaks and a copy of the Evening Standard for her. Um, and guess what? Look what's on the screen of my car today. Tire pressure. I'm changing this car actually next month and I think it's about time because every time I turn the, turn the key, you don't do that anymore. Every time I start the car, something flashes up on the screen and I'm driving around with warning signs and I can't afford to do that. Also, my congestion charge discount, I mustn't start this vlog with a moan, I get residents congestion charge discount and it ran out and I either didn't receive the letter or I received it and thought I'll deal with that next week. Anyway, it's run out. I'm paying £15 every time I drive around London at the moment. I had no idea. It's between 7 in the morning and 10 at night. Oh, Matilda, what do you make of that? Sorry it's so moany. Tomorrow will be lovely because Amy and I are going to watch the rehearsals of Jersey Boys at the Trafalgar Studios. Yes! Right, you ready, Matilda? Off we go to Kensal Rise. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now. From the beginning. Hit it, boys. So this is, this is interesting. The new shop has opened on Marylebone High Street that is cacti and coffee. So you can have a coffee and admire the cacti. I don't know where I am on cacti. I always think of them as my great aunt Lil's dusty mantelpiece, but they're really big now. Have a look at the, I mean, really big in every sense. Oh. There's a joint on the corner where the big boys play, where the whiskey's running like the river, but they all never come for the booze and bass. I'm the one, I'm the lady that'll rock this place. Hey, hey. That'll rock this place. Hey, hey. That'll rock this place. Hey, hey. I love this. 
this was um, a massive shop that was LK Bennett and I don't think LK Bennett ever did very well here to be honest but this is perfect for Marylebone so um, the lady here was saying that they had a restaurant in Labrock Grove many of you may remember um, and now it's here um, with a difference with a twist right on this corner site opposite Rixo where you know I'm in and out of Rixo all the time um, and I absolutely love it it's beautifully light perfect for all the cacti, but just such a lovely ambience and completely different. And here's a lovely guy. I've just given him my card. Hello, hi. Hello, guys. Um, nice to meet you. It's so nice that you're here. Oh, it's so nice. We need something completely different here in this area. And, um, and look at all the cakes. Wow. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. It's really dark. It is fantastic, so hello everyone. I better go into work. I'm going to Jersey Boys to interview the cast of Jersey Boys, so I better get going. But anyway, this is open, and it's open every day of the week. From what time? 10 till 7, every day. Welcome to Marylebone. Welcome to Marylebone. I hope you're ready for what's coming now. I'm the one, I'm the lady that would bring it down. Amy and I are back together. We're at the back of the Th Trafalgar Theatre. We've had to fill in endless, because this cast obviously cannot uh, be exposed to any germs whatsoever. So we've, we've filled in all our forms, sent everything off. is the set oh my gosh how many times have I seen this with them walking through I've seen this show probably ten times <laughs> I could probably understudy if only I could sing um, I never thought I'd be standing here this is the closest I'll ever get to performing on this stage but um, how fantastic so we're soon going to um, have a chat to some of the cast when you see this it will have opened and um, we're going to the first night Amy <gasps> So exciting. Um, ben, can you just give your name and who you play? Uh, I'm Ben Joyce and I play Frankie Valley. And um, we've just been chatting on the stairs. Ben, just tell me your favourite song in the production, the one you look forward to, and then, just for me on YouTube, whoop, <laughs> tell me the one that you dread because it's the trickiest one to sing. Oh, um, I think my favourite one, just because of the reaction of the audience, would have to be Can't Take My Eyes Off You. Uh, I love singing with the other boys, obviously, but... Um, I've got, got to say that, I've got to say that, I love it, but uh, the, the, I walk like a man's great as well, oh, the reaction for like that, because yeah. that's the time we finish the song and it's the first time the audience get a chance to actually applaud us with us looking at the audience, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, and, um, and then the one I dread the most would probably have to be, there's a song in it, uh, it's not as well known, but it's one of those ones he sings in the bar and it's called Moody's Mood for Love, um, which is... So everyone watching this yeah. will know he dreads this, why? <laughs> It's just a really vocally challenging. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's that mountain. You uh -huh. always want that at the beginning of the show, so you can think I've done that. Yeah, yeah. But it's usually at the end. <laughs> yeah, it's quite. It's quite. Uh, it's like vocally acrobatic. I'd say like up and down. So I do kind of have a bit of a. Oh, that's coming up. But once it's over. And he does it every single night. I'm going to ask the other Ben. Ben, the one you enjoy the most and the one that you actually uh, anticipate with fear. Uh, my favourite one to perform is actually begging because we feel cool. I don't know about you, but I feel really cool when I do that one. Um, the choreography with the guitars is really cool on that. The one I dread doing the most, I don't dread doing any of them, but there's one <laughs> that, I, that I've always struggled with since rehearsals, and that's Dawn, at the, at the end of Act One. Why Dawn's, is Ben laughing? Why? Because why? <laughs> he knows the trials and tribulations I've had. Dawn is not, me and Dawn are not friends. <laughs> I'm <laughs> waiting for Dawn. Amy, when Dawn comes on, we have to give him a round of applause. The <laughs> biggest round of yeah. applause. From nowhere, we'll leap out of our seats and go, you've done it, in the most patronising way. <laughs> That's the one that after it's done, I go, Whew. But you see, this is what makes you human. Yeah. It's like you have to be vulnerable, don't you? You have to, otherwise, there's nowhere to go. I think it's really good of you to even admit that. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Hello everyone. Oh, hold on. I'm just creating a bit of background. Um, I've just got home from work. What is it? Thursday. And I am going to have dinner with a friend of mine who many of you will know. In fact, many of you will be following me because of this person. Um, we are going to the Ivy Cafe in Marylebone. It is pouring with rain yet again. I wanted it to be a lovely summer's night so that we could sit out in Marylebone Lane, um, but it's pouring with rain. This summer hasn't really got going, has it? Anyway, but I'm not going to be put off. I'm taking my wicker. I've shown you my um, novelty dog wicker bag, and this is just a plain wicker bag. I do love uh, wicker in the summer. I hope, I'm just hoping this isn't going to dissolve <laughs> in the rain. Anyway, um, it's only a short walk down the road, which is rather nice. And I don't know, I've had a bit of a day, so I'm looking forward to a glass or two of wine. And when you see who I'm with, you'll know that we are going to have such a great gossip and a catch up. And she's brought me a gift. She's brought, oh, wait, she's just text me saying that she's brought this for me. I'll wait and let her show it. I hope she lets me film her. Anyway, next shot, Philippe, will be in the Ivy Cafe in Marylebone. Surprise, this is who it is. But she's not really interested in me. She's just interested in the goodie bags I bring. I promise you, she is. See, I told you she was bringing me something and just, just reveal what it is, Nadine. Okay. Now, we were live on air and I asked her if she'd tried this and she said no. But also, I couldn't oh just come with one product. She literally texted me and went, can I bring you some goodies? I'm bringing you the Chanel bronzer. Now this is, as you know, I use the Chanel, but this is the new one. Can you believe we're doing this in the Ivy? At some point, someone's going to say... Shameless. <laughs> totally shameless. So as I said, many of you are here because of Nadine. And if you're here and you don't know Nadine's channel, which I think would be weird, I will leave all the details to Nadine, but um, mo mainly you're here because of Nadine. So I have a lot to thank her for. <laughs> We did have rather a lot <laughs> to drink. Well, no, not that much. We had so much to eat. Oh, gosh. come on, Jill, hurry up, because we've got to go back in. Um, I'm going to sit down. A bit. I'm going to sit amongst the roses on the roof. Boy, what a night! That was fantastic. Oh dear. It has been a really long day. You all right, Tilde? Everyone's still out. Oh, I'm going to sit this way because I like it when you can see the BT Tower behind me. Hopefully you can. Tilde, we're going in a minute. There it is. So this is where I'm going to end this week's vlog. I know it's a bit shorter this week. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know why, actually. I just, I didn't vlog everything. Um, I didn't vlog every day. And next week I'll try and do better. Um, and I'm trying to get this to um, Philippe. But Philippe is in Portugal and I keep texting him saying, when can I send you rushes? Rushes, when can I send you clips? I'm not really sure what he's up to, to be honest. 
but I will see you next week. I can't even know if you can see me. This is probably a bit, it's very dark up here, but this camera almost, almost always makes it look like daytime. I, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to just go and drink lots of water. I will see you next week, next Sunday. By the way, Nadine Baggett, she's just joyous she is joyous and if you don't know Nadine's channel um, she has far more followers than me and I will put a link to her channel and her Instagram below but I don't think most of you need to be told who she is Tilde you waiting to go in so Philippe in your own time love when you want to edit this it would be great if you can get it up by Sunday. Thank you very much. Editing Joe's vlog is really low on my list of priorities right now, so. Bye everyone, have a great week. Thanks for your support.